Hey Aquarius, my innovators, always got a lot of haters, but we always write our paper. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> What's up Aquarius, this is your girl Nature Bay. I'm here with another video, a video about Chiron. Now as I stated in my previous videos, Chiron is your wounded healer. It's areas in your life that you have been wounded in, um, particularly from a child up to an adult. It's a, um, it's a wound that will always be with us um, for our whole time that we're here on earth. And it's a wound that is kind of like a bullet hole. So we don't need to stick a bandaid over it. We need to treat it like a bullet hole. So with that being said, this video is a cut, run in Aquarius. And another thing I want to say, it is Aquarius season. Um, so all my Aquarius, they have lost loved ones um, who loved ones have transitioned off of earth. I just want to say my condolences. May spirit continue to lead you, continue to guide you. Just know that you can tap into your ancestors energy at any time. You can tap into your loved ones, your friend energy at any time to receive that love, that support, and that honor. Um, my dog is barking, but he's going to be okay. All right. All right. So anyways, um, Chiron and Aquarius. We all know that Aquarius is all about the inner, it's innovative energy. They're all about um, inventions. They're all about humanity. I'll, I'll be right back, guys. As I was saying, Aquarius is innovative energy. It's <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> that was kind of funny, though. <laughs> Someone is terrorizing my dog. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, Aquarius is innovative energy. Aquarius um, is, uh, you guys have an energy about humanity, wanting to save humanity, wanting to go out and save the world. Wanting to have all these um, new ideas and these new projections. Um, maybe wanting to lead a, C, uh, lead a major um, business company or be the CEO of a company. <clears throat> um, you know, Aquarius, like I said, is just pure leadership, just pure Hey, I created this. I need to put this out there to the world. And this idea is going to heal, heal humanity or save humanity in some type of way. Now, when your Chiron is in Aquarius, you may have a difficulty here. Because remember what I said, Chiron is the places that we have been wounded in as a child. So if your Chiron is in Aquarius, you may have a hard time actually putting your ideals forth. Your ideas that you, um, maybe like a business idea. Or you may have a hard time actually going to produce your business. Aquarius aren't really people who are um, meant to work for other people, you know, because you have all these innovative ideas, because you are from planet Uranus and you have seen the future. Um, you know that America is a pharmaceutical country if you're from America. You know that this is some bullshit. So you probably have your more natural, naturalistic ways about going to save humanity versus just giving them a pill. Does that make sense? I know it does. You're an Aquarius. You get me. Um, Oh wait, Aquarius, I think my dog wants to hit y'all. Say hey! <laughs> His name is Drex Sididi, and he's your big boy. But he's an Aries, he's not an Aquarius. The opposite of Aries is Libra, so that's his energy. He over here in Aquarius energy. And I also want to say to all my Leos, because the opposite of Aquarius on a mirror is Leo. So it's the same type of energy. I want to say my condolences to you all for losing your loved ones, maybe your best friend, Maybe your husband, your son. Just know that energy is there. At all times, you can grab that energy. You can hold on to those places and you can embody that energy. And they can actually be with you um, through the rest of your journey going forward on Earth to produce um, the aspects and to produce, I want to say produce the aspects, my, my apologies, to produce the, um, you know, the material that you need to actually go out here and save humanity and bring humanity back towards your idealistic and futuristic ways. Now, again, if your Chiron is in Aquarius, like I said, you may have difficulty. Um, you may kind of be a pushover because, you know, Aquarius, is, they have a tendency to um, just be a little extra nice to people, you know, um, to a tendency to, because you have a tendency to say, okay, you know what? Um, the world is being overpopulated, for example, the world is being overpopulated with obese disease and 
people who are obese. So your idea, you may want to go in and come up with this whole elaborate plan about how to um, decrease the effects of um, processed food or decrease the effects of fast foods and people consuming foods. You may come up with a plan. But again, if your Chiron is in a craze, you may just um, halter that plan and keep that plan inside of you. So when you don't actually work on your Chiron, when you don't actually put yourself out there to try to, not try, but to elevate yourself, to elevate your physical, physical body and soul, um, you may go into your opposite side, your shadow side, which is Leo, which is, okay, you know what, I'm not, I am not um, watering and um, gardening, nurturing my garden, I'm not nurturing my ideals and my plans. So you may do the opposite which the opposite of Aquarius, like I said, the opposite of that quiet person, that person who's very innovative, that person who is, you know, I'm, everything I want to do is just a buffet of humanity. The opposite of that is Leo. So you may become selfish. You may just want a bunch of attention for nothing. You may become a, a attention seeker. You may try to get your attention and that validation from outside of yourself, from other people. And, you know, sometimes it's okay to get validation from others, but the validation has to come from self first. Self-love has to be first. You know, like I said, you get in these ideas, and it's not for anything. You are the innovative person. You are the leader. You are the healer, babe. You are it, babe. Listen to nature, babe. You got it. You got to keep going. Okay? I know that it's... it's, it's it's easy for us to, to, to get outside ourselves. It's easy for us to get caught up in what's going on in the world, you know, with all the riots here, with all the, like I said, people transitioning out of their lives. But what keeps us going as Aquarius, and I'm an Aquarius moon, but what keeps us going as an Aquarius is believing in ourselves. Um, try to, my suggestion would be, um, Try index cards. Try getting sticky notes and placing them around with affirmations on the board. Try getting you a planner. Not try, but get your planner. Write down your ideas. Create your vision board. Actually check those things off the vision board. Instead of going out and asking everybody else how do they feel about your fucking hit, your wealth, your ideals, you don't need no one else's opinion because the universe Mother Nature is on your side and gave you those ideals to put in the world to save humanity for a reason. Again, like I said, when you have Chiron here, it's a wound. So you may have been, you may have been laughed at as a child. You know, you may have um, went to your parents or went to some type of guardian with an idea. Um, hey, this is the type of business that I want to start. You may, it could be simple as, hey, I want to open up a lemonade stand. That's a business as a child. That's that's your idea. That's your, hey, I got a fruit punch stand. I got a lemonade stand. I got a grapefruit stand. But you may have people who laughed at it or who took you as a joke, who didn't give you the proper um, support that you needed. So because you didn't get the proper support that you needed from a child, again, it makes you tap into your shadow side, which is Leo, which is, hey, I need all the attention from everybody and their mom. And that's, again, that's not cool because you are the grace. You are the future. You are the brains of the Zodiac for a reason. Love yourself. Trust in yourself. It's nature, babe. It's nature, babe. Gang, gang. All right. Peace out.